going on guys welcome back to another lesson where we're going to talk about aoi and splits so what is an aoi and what's the importance of it and why do we use it okay so i want you guys to firstly understand that an aoi is an area of interest that's what it stands for area of interest and the splits is what separates an imbalance with a balance right because what usually happens in these imbalances is that most of the time they get filled Okay, so I want to explain and show you how we're going to mark the splits. I know a lot of you guys that have been in my commu community are very familiar with zones, but you have seen in my recent sessions that I do live trading, I am not currently using my zones all the time to trade. A lot of time I trade in middle price action. I'm a very aggressive trader. Um, there's many different types of traders. You can be an aggressive trader. You can be a conservative trader. Okay, it does not matter because when we're at a split or at an imbalance fill, or at an AOI, we have the opportunity to take a trade, but how are we going to know whether we're gonna take long, short, or stay out of the market, which I rarely do. <laughs> so here we go. Let's talk about uh, what we see right now when it comes down to um, an AOI. So let's talk about this, that first, and then we'll get talking about splits. So the first thing I want you guys to understand is uh, take a look at my screen right now, okay? It does not matter what time frame you are on. In fact, I'm gonna pull up the time frames right here so you guys can see what time frames I use. Okay, so these are the time frames that I use. It's the, obviously the four hour, the three hour, the two hour, the one hour, 90 minute, 45 minute. And then when it comes down to uh, the shorter time frames, I start considering the 15 minute below short time frame. Okay, so we have the 15 minute, the 10 minute, the five minute, three minute, one minute, and 15 seconds. So all those can be considered as short time frames and then the seconds which is 15 second and below are the macro time frames which i rarely use but i do use in some circumstances whenever i'm in a trade the 15 second is a macro time frame we're able to break price down and momentarily see uh, uh what balances are being formed at a, at a micro at a macro time frame so <clears throat> the first thing we want to understand is forget marking the zones from the bigger time frames all the way to the most smaller time frames I want you guys to focus more on on the AY, the area of interest, okay? So a, a lot of you guys know how to mark zones, and again, we're gonna discuss that as well later on. Uh, but if we take a look, let's go down into a five minute, or let's use our replay uh, tool uh, here. And let's uh, just replay price down into um, maybe this area over here, okay? Because this was actually a good trade. All right, so um, let's go down into a four hour. All right, we see that we're on a four hour time frame, and the way that we're gonna look for to find an AOI, we need a zone, okay? So we need to find a zone. So obviously on the four hour, we don't see any zones. On the three hour, we don't see any zones. Um, two hour, we don't see any zones. One hour, do we see any zones? Nope, we don't really see any zones. 45 minute, we don't see any zones. 30 minute, uh, we finally see zones here, okay? So I finally see a zone on the 30 minute, okay? And this is exactly what I'm gonna talk about here. This is, this is what an AOI is. So we understand that the, the way that a zone is formed is when we get a balance, right? And a balance doesn't mean that we're necessarily choppy. It could just, a balance could be one candle because in that one candle, we were to break this down in a short time frame, there would be a balance, right? So it's a basing candle and then an aggressive move to the upside is what creates the zone. So for example, here, we take a look at this 30 minute and we have a 30 minute zone here, okay? Now, obviously, we fully understand that when we have a zone, we want the zone to be a lot smaller, okay? So, because we don't want to be trading, for example, we have our 50% level, we have the top of the zone, and we have the bottom of the zone. We don't want to be trading a zone where you have, uh, this is fine, where you have 200 ticks to the top, 200 ticks to the bottom, because in that situation, you increase your risk, especially when we're enter entering these trades based off an AOI or split, you're increasing your risk, okay? Now, let me answer this question. Can there be an imbalance where there is a, a zone? Yes, there can. Can there be a split where there's a zone? Yes, there can. Can there be an AOI where there's a zone? No, because the AOI is above or below the zone depending on the demand zone. An AOI is the top of the wick of your basing candle or in a supply zone, it would be the bottom of the wick of the, of the basin candle. So in this case, though, we have a demand zone with an AOI that is currently standing right here. Okay, now, let me explain something very quick. If in any 
case, the AOI, okay, is bigger than this candle right here, which this is, again, this is considered the aggressive move that creates the zone. If the wick is bigger, we are not going to mark it as an AOI. So let's say the wick, let's remove this very quick. Let's say the wick was like this. That is not a zone. You're not going to mark this as an AOI. Like you're not going to say, oh my gosh, look, we have an AOI right here. No, because that wick is more aggressive than the aggressive candle, meaning that buyers already got to be up there and they were brought down. So that's not an area of interest, okay? So <clears throat> what makes an area of interest and why is it an area of interest? So I want you guys to understand the concept of a zone, okay? A, a lot of traders, especially retail like us, right? When we see a market a falling direction, right? We start to believe that the market is going to continue to drop and everyone starts to short, right? It's the same concept when we're longing. When we start seeing the longs, everyone starts to long, okay? When we start falling short though, there's gonna be at some point in price action, there's gonna be a reversal where the longs begin to come in and they say, you know what? This is where the shorts are gonna be stopped. It's our turn to come in. And eventually they're gonna create an area of interest. You get what I'm saying? They're gonna create an area where they say, this is where we want price to stop and this is where we want to buy and now take control. And that area of interest is going to play a very important part. So when it comes down to marking your zones and your levels, it's very important to understand that we need to find these zones. Just because something may look like a zone, it's not a zone. It has to be at an important level that makes logical sense. So for example, if we take a look at this 30 minute, we're right under a split. Do not worry about when I, what I'm talking about there. Okay, the split, we'll talk about that later. So I know this is a very important zone, okay? But in this zone, we came down, Check this out. This is why the AOI is formed. We start coming up in here and we see this wick, okay? Everyone, when this wick comes down, everyone starts shorting because they're like, oh my gosh, you know what? The sellers are still gonna continue to push through. And then on the next candle, the buyers say, you know what? It's not your time, it's our time. And they break past the last point that they were able, that they were supposed to get through because at this point, Many, a lot of people probably thought they were buying, but this is truly where the buyers came in and they said, it's our turn. So this is the last point that sellers were able to have control, which hence makes it the area of interest. Make sense? So the last point sellers were able to have control makes it the area of interest. Now, I want you guys to understand something. Let's even go a little more replay into this. Cause we, okay. So I want you guys to understand something here. All right. Cause Area of interest can be on any time frame, okay? But when we understand imbalance, we're gonna understand which ones are more valid than others. So we have our area of interest there. We have our zone there. Our zone is a little too big. I mean, we would want to generally find something much smaller. That way, it, the probabilities of it working out are much higher than usual, okay? But we see this AOI and we start to question, okay, now what's, the, what's between the AOI and the zone? Because Again, we're gonna, we have to understand that this is the zone that we're looking for. This is the zone right here, okay? This is the zone. The zone is, and, and there's three parts of a zone that I want you guys to understand. We have number one, okay, right here. And then we have number two, which is the middle of the zone, which is the 50% level that we always mark as psychological level. And then we have number three, which is the bottom of the zone, okay? And this is where areas where we can all take trades, okay? The smaller the zone is, the more probabilities that the trade is gonna work out in our favor because we don't have to worry about staying in the zone too long. Boom, okay? So that's the number one key to becoming very successful with this strategy is understanding the smaller the zone, the better. So if we can find this 30 minute in another time frame, oof, we're gonna, we're gonna kill it. Now, what's between the AOI and the number one part of the zone, which is the top of the zone, the middle and the bottom? Okay, what's between that? This is usually, right, an imbalance. Now, let's understand something else. The imbalances, we're only gonna look for those imbalances on a five minute. So although this might look like an imbalance on a 30 minute time frame because there's no price action, that's what an imbalance is, it does not necessarily mean it's an imbalance. Because if we go down into a five minute, okay, it is an imbalance, it, it, it could be an imbalance. We're gonna have to see if it's an imbalance, okay? We're gonna determine that on a five minute time frame, if it's an imbalance or not, okay? 
the five minute time frame period okay so this is usually though a danger zone okay so i would mark it uh with a cautious sign because we want to be cautious because usually there's two things that may happen at an area of interest we're gonna bounce okay or we're gonna break there's no in between i mean there is an in between sometimes we might just balance out and then go and then bounce and eventually break it but usually when we break the aoi um, we might stall here for a little bit and then we'll break through bounce and then we'll start having longs above coming in so and then we'll talk about when an aoi is invalid so let's uh see how this plays out okay so yeah there you go so let's look at this very quick what happens here okay so check this out because this is so important here so now you understand what an aoi is okay keep that locked in mind it's the top of the width of the basic candle when it's supplied and we'll go over supply aoi so when we look at this <clears throat> this is our danger zone right so obviously where did it get filled it got filled right here so eventually over here was stalling so check this out over here we created a split okay usually this doesn't happen but you it's good that this is happening here that way i can explain it to you guys and you guys can understand the imbalance what is an imbalance it's an area with no price action so if we take a look at this right here we have an area with no price action so this is the whole area right here right so into the zone so look there's no price action here no price it's all green on the five minute on the five minute it's all green so there's no price action and then there starts being price action here this is a balance it's not a zone because there was a battle up here but this is a balance so where would the split where would the split be here right it would be right here so see how there's a split in the zone okay so there's a split right here okay because this splits right this is where price stops now and then creates another imbalance so usually you're gonna have that you're gonna have a one and a two right and this is the one in the two Okay, so, and this is why my trading style is so fast because I'm playing these levels like that. Okay, so we have uh, the imbalance that gets filled here. Okay, and this is the split. And then there's an imbalance that needs to be filled down into 50%. And then another balance down here. Okay, but take a look here. We have the split right here. Okay, we have an imbalance right here. So what does it make this then? Right, it makes it a split as well. Okay. So if we were paying attention, okay, and let's go back into replay. So we were playing, if we were paying attention, okay, I want you guys to look at this for real, okay? So let's, uh, the price action is already formed there. Let's go there. This is where we were. So we were paying attention, okay, when we form this zone, because right now this zone is already formed, okay? So look at that. This zone is, the, the, the zone is already formed. And if we were paying attention, when this zone got formed and the AOI was created, if we were smart, let's delete everything else, else so I don't confuse you guys, okay? And if we were smart, okay, we, what we would have done in this situation when the zone was formed and we would have marked the zone, we would have said, okay, you know what, guys, let's go down into a five minute. Let's see if we have any splits. And I would have immediately saw that the AOI, it obviously it balanced out at the AOI and then we came back up. But I would realize immediately that we had formed a split right here, right? That, that would be considered my split right here. So even though we had the AOI there, we still had the split at the bottom of the AOI. So what does this mean? I'm not trading anything here. I'm not playing longs at the AOI either. Why? Because I'm, I'm going to see if it wants to fill this imbalance first. This imbalance, at least into this split. You know what I mean? Or, or into the first area of the zone okay which again uh in this case it could be worth it because we're good we're going for a 50 tick trade catch right but the split is formed along with the aoi so you see how i'm not just looking at a five minute and being like oh my gosh we're gonna bounce at the aoi no i came down to see if we have a split and then i decided okay you know what the aoi and the split are very close to each other i might just well wait and see if we play the shorts right and eventually look at how well the split's working out but eventually we break that split I saw it earlier, right? There you go. Eventually you break that split, right? And we fill the split. So now the split becomes invalid because once the split gets filled, goodbye, okay? That split and that imbalance got filled into this area, it's very close. So we would this 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 validate everything else, but we would keep this split because this split hasn't been filled, right? We haven't been filled to the bottom here. So we still have to pay attention to that, okay? So 
excuse me, uh, we still have to pay attention to this split right here, right? But the, this split up here got invalidated already, so we don't need to pay attention to it anymore, okay? Now we're above AOI. Now, if we start chopping up in AOI, I'm gonna delete the AOI because I'm gonna realize that in reality it's not an area of interest. But if we can see, right, and we can continue to bounce at AOI here, okay, then I'll leave AOI because look, AOI is working perfectly and it works perfectly, right? So there you go, it ends up working out, okay, in our favor at AOI, okay? So this was all a fake out, this was the, the fill, and then we got the bounce at the area of interest, okay, over here. So that is good. And again, I probably wouldn't have played it in the choppiness until maybe around, again, we probably wouldn't have even been trading this because it's 12.45 p.m. So honestly, we probably just wouldn't have traded it, right? But it bounced perfectly at AOI. Let's go to another example, uh, a better example maybe of supply. So, so let's do that. All right, so same thing. Let's go back into uh, another area. Here we go. I want this one right here. Okay, so we formed a zone. So again, this is an example of what wouldn't be an AOI. Check it out, right? Um, we have a two hour zone, right? Uh, and this week, although it worked out perfectly, we could probably find out another time frame, right? This AOI would not be an AOI that I would have marked. Even though it worked out perfectly and you could have said, oh, but th that AOI worked out perfectly, Danny, why wouldn't you have marked it? Again, the zone is too big. What I would have done instead, I would have done, okay, you know what, let's go into a 30 minute time frame and let's see if we find a better AOI because I'm definitely not gonna use a zone where the zone is 150 ticks. My risk becomes this, right? So if you want your risk to be that, okay, go ahead. Do what you need to do. But me personally on the other side, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna be very uh, self-aware of, of, of the zones and what levels I want to play and what levels I don't want to play. But I'm not doing that, okay? So, um, today is, okay, perfect. This is Friday, June 14th. Okay, so let's find the zone and see if we have a zone here. I know we created one over here. Okay, perfect. So we finally have a zone over here, okay? So we see, look at the difference between this zone and then look at the difference between this zone. I mean, it's not, it's, it's a big difference, obviously, right? Let's see how many ticks this one is. 88, I mean, the smaller the better, right? But 88 is fine. So we have our zone and then we have our area of interest, the top of the wick, okay? This is the AOI, okay? So this is the first area where we might bounce, okay? And if we break through, we fill, we might bounce, okay? On a demand zone, okay? So we gotta pay attention to that area. So we have our AOI. Let's go down to one hour. Let's see if we have anything on the one hour. Uh, this is not a zone because there was a battle at the bottom, so I don't want to mark that as my zone. We'll see if we have anything. Ooh, we had something, but obviously it already got broken. So we had this. Let's see if this worked out, how this worked out. Because I see that we had the rejection. That was nice. So this is broken already, but I just want to show you guys how it worked out. So let's go back a little bit here. Um, let's go into right here. Okay. So let's go into this 90 minutes. So this, ooh, I love this. I'm so glad this happened. So we had that zone, we had the two hour, and then we have the AOI on the two hour, and then we have the AOI over here on the supply. You see the AOI? So this one's not broken yet because again, we replayed it, but take a, take a look. We have the basin candle and the drop, which makes the zone in here. And then we have the AOI, okay? Okay, on the supply. You see how the AOI on the supply is at the bottom? The AOI on demand is at the top. Bottom and top. Okay, bottom and top, okay? So, we have a 90 minute there. We're gonna go into 45 minutes, see what's going on. 45 minutes, there's no zones. 30 minutes, there's no zones, okay? There's no smaller zones, so we're gonna stay with that. This is where I love, love to see it, okay? So let's go into a five minute very quick. So we understand that we had a AOI on the 90 minute, okay? Look at the first time, guys, the first time, and this is exactly what I did we had a play on Friday, huge trade. I think we caught 150 ticks, and I'll show you guys that trade after this one. Okay, where I played, where we broke through the, the AOI uh, on Friday last week, um, and I caught a big short, huge short, right? At the retest of the AOI, and I didn't play the long. It was a demand AOI, like this. It was a demand AOI. 
and 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 maybe people were confused like why are we not playing long in the supply but we have broken through aoi and retested aoi so i knew that that aoi was flipping over and that's why i played the short i'm not gonna play the long at an aoi that just gets sliced through easily right so we take a look i mean take a look at this right we come up we retest the aoi first time we come into the aoi we retest the aoi okay again this is usually a danger zone so we have to be careful in here obviously there's a there's a balance okay there's a split i would just say it splits right here and then we have a lot of choppiness over there so i mean that's pretty much the balance imbalance we got to fill so there's a lot of balance over here so we would have to be very careful right considering that we're going into uh, an area of interest between the area of interest and the zone there's a lot of balance over here so we would have to be aware right but if we can find a very tight entry and this can work on our favor into at least 50 percent which is which is exactly what we did we're going to catch a banger okay so my mind right now as going into this trade we start heading up 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 we have the rejection of aoi okay i'm i'm paying attention though like i'm not going we're not hitting aoi and i'm gonna say oh guys i'm short we hit the aoi i'm sure i'm sure i'm short. Sure. no Okay, I'm not gonna do that, okay? We're not gonna hit the AOI and be like, I'm short, I'm short. We're gonna wait because where's the momentum going, guys? It's going to the upside, right? So we need, a, a, if we're gonna go short, we need a flip of momentum, right? We gotta see at least some type of confirmation. This could be wicks to the upside, a fake out of the AOI, and then we drop. It has to be something, but it can't just be, uh, we're close to the AOI and there was a red candle. That is a lame excuse. We're not doing that, okay? So we need to see, uh, uh, something that's going to show us that the shorts are going to take control and potentially maybe even make a split, which is exactly what we did. We made a split here. Look at that. So as soon as we make this split, okay, so this would be a split, right? Because why? Why? Why would it be a split? So on this candle, right, with the wick, again, I forgot to mention this as well. The wick counts as an imbalance. So these wicks count as an imbalance. So wick uh, of split is marked on the body of the candle the bottom and the wicks are considered imbalances because they're weak okay and this is what it needs to fill so once we break this we can fill okay and i'm going short on that split anyway we form that split and then we start to realize okay we're going directly breaking that aoi so as soon as we form that split and we break that aoi i'm long baby i'm at least long into the zone okay because we broke aoi and your 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 AOI is your safeguard, right? So if you go into that trade, right, past AOI, you're taking that trade long into the zone and you're gonna have a stop loss under the AOI. That's your safeguard. And look how tight I can have my stop loss on this trade and I can target at least into the zone or near the zone, which is again, a positive risk reward, 70 to 40 ticks. Oh my gosh, that would have been a beautiful trade, okay? We come 50%. You have another beautiful trade to potentially take short once we break structure out of the zone or at 50%, right? You could have taken another short. We went directly to the split, then we came back up, okay? That is a beautiful example of where we would kind of not take the short in AOI, right? Because you can take both, okay? Oh, and then look at this. We break the split. There's your sign to go short. And as soon as we break that split, let's say you get an entry, you can at least catch 50 ticks on that to fill the imbalance. You, so the imbalance gets filled right here. We always get super close to it. Like we don't usually, like this struggle to fill it, maybe it was like 18 ticks, but you should have taken profit on a, and especially on an aggressive move, okay? But once you see this, like for example, this, this AOI would have definitely been invalidated as soon as we broke through on this time. So it's like the, I would definitely say it's like the third or second time, depending on how you see the AOI playing out, is where you delete it, right? So this wouldn't have been non-existent. So as soon as this happened here on the AOI, I would have deleted it, and I, but I would have kept the split, right, right here. And I would have gone short as soon as we broke this, right, into the thing, because we had moment, because we had momentum to fill the imbalance. That is solid right there, okay? And then once this gets filled, the split goes off, okay? So now you have, you're left with this here, okay? So, look, but look at where we bounced, the AOI. The AOI, the imbalance to the AOI down here. So you have to find where you wanna get that entry, okay? Beautiful uh, examples of these AOIs working out um, in, in, in the favor. It, it's just beautiful traits, right? We have those 50% levels. So again, um, uh, let's continue to talk about this and let's uh, go with the example that I had last Friday. Okay, because, but this one was on QQQ. So yes, 
There's going to be a lot of times where we're going to use QQQ. I want to see how this plays out. Uh, AOI again. As long as the AOI doesn't break, it keeps working, guys. We hit 50% again. Check this out. It's so simple. Okay. If we break 50% and we have confirmation, I'm going long. This one didn't. Let's see if we break. Eventually. Okay. Retest of 50%. For example, I don't know what's going to happen right now, but if this case happened and I saw momentum to the upside and a big wick to the downside like that, okay. This zone is already gonna get broken. Once it gets past 50%, to me, it's already gonna get broken unless we get unlucky, and that's just sometimes how the market is. But I would say, you know what, guys? I'm taking that risk, because I'm taking the long, okay? I wouldn't mind, you know? I would say, man, I'm taking the long to the upside, because look, this is what I can do. Like, let's just say I might get stopped out on this trade. I'll tell you, a 40 tick stop loss, okay? I'm not sure how this trade's gonna play out, but we're gonna take, we're gonna take, a, uh, we're gonna take a stab at it, okay? Because let's say that this trade doesn't work out, right? Let's go in the buy, okay? Whatever. We have one contract in the buy. We, we obviously are not going to get the best entry all the time, but we get the entry on the buy, right? Because now we're retesting 50%. Okay, so I'm going to take the buy. If I get stopped out, guess what I'm doing? I'm just going to take the short, and I'm going to reverse my position because now I understand that these buys were in place, and now the sellers are coming in, and it will retest 50% to the upside. Now, there could be a situation where we do... Uh, 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 retest here, right? Or we break here, we get stopped out and go back above 50%. All I'm going to do is get long again because at that point, I know the top is really going to get broken. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so that would have hit full TP. We would have been able to take profit on that. But look, just very near the 50%. Once we break above, see that momentum? It's a very obvious thing that most likely we're going to play out the longs, right? And this is exactly what I was talking about the fake out. A lot of times, we're going to try to get back under 50% just to fake out all the buyers. And then we're going to get back above. I could have easily taken long here. And now we're probably going to pump. Okay. Oh, yep. And we had a big pump up there. See, we're going to fake out at that 50%. We're going to use it a lot. These wicks are imbalances. Don't worry about them. But now at that 50% level, a split was formed. And the imbalance is right here. No price action until this point. So the imbalance is very small. It got filled though. Look, boom, boom. Got filled twice. Wow, this is beautiful. I love, and when you start to understand these concepts, you start to understand like, damn, like I can really do this, you know what I mean? And you guys can do it. You know, you just have to be more like self-aware of like your zones because I feel like a, a lot of times, a lot of traders are not self-aware of the potential that they could have because you guys are too afraid to click the button because your, your understanding of, of a good trade is that when you go into trade, the trade's gonna work out in your favor right away. Okay? It's never going to happen. You have to learn how to build habits where you stick to your plan, and period, right? And then not, not, not sidetrack yourself, okay? Because it's not necessarily what you want to do, okay? So pay attention to that. Now, um, uh, regarding everything else uh, on the trade that I took on Friday, I actually took this trade on NQ, but obviously, if you didn't know, we use NQ to chart and we use QQQ to chart, right? Because on Friday, we didn't have any zones. So why do I chart QQQ as well? Because I like to see the gaps that are occurring in the market. That's why we chart QQQ as well. And I want to show you guys what trade I took here. It was a demand zone. Let me find it. And there was an AOI. Maybe it was a 30 minute. Let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, there was a demand zone over here. I know there was uh, Friday, right? We're gonna find that demand zone right now. So this is Friday. Okay, there was some kind of zone. Was this it? No. Okay. Let's go. And I'll show you guys a, a video of, this, of the trade I took as well. I think this was it. I think we marked the three hour. Um, I think we marked that three hour and then we had the AOI right here. Okay, we'll see right now. Because usually I don't trade those big zones, but we'll see if we do have it in a smaller time frame. Nope. Uh, let's move this over here. Okay, this is Friday. Uh, yeah, we have uh, smaller, but I don't like it on the one hour. I probably wouldn't have marked it on the one hour. 90 minute, fine. 45, uh, let's go on the 30. It's not even on a 30 minute time frame. Oh, mm -mm. So yeah, it looks like it was just on that time frame, guys. So see where we don't have any zones, other zones, I just keep it on the bigger time frame. Even if this zone is 
could be considered a little too big, right? Uh, but on Friday, we didn't have no crazy zones, you know? So I had to stick by what we had. But we had the zone over here, which I really liked. But look at the zone, okay? We have the zone, and then we have the AOI. So I can either, at this AOI, I can either short or long, okay? So there's two options I can do. So let's go into a five minute now, where market's about to open. Ooh, it already opened. Mm. But <laughs> to just to put in perspective, we're gonna retest the AOI. I already know what's gonna happen here because uh, I actually took this trade, and let's go into. Uh, 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 I want to show you guys that I, the trade that we how, and how we took it. It was at exactly what's, what was Friday. Okay, twenty one. Here we go. Let me just show you guys a, a quick of when we took this trade. It was a, a beautiful trade. Let me find it here. <laughs> Obviously, you're not gonna see any charting on my on my thing, but the charting was done on um, on QQQ, which will which I'll show you guys right now. Uh, but take a look at this. This was beautiful. It was beautiful. So we were able to hold this trade. We had a 50 tick stop loss. Man, this trade just as soon as we broke AOI. You know, the first time we came, we faked out. We came back and retested. So that's when I decided to go on the trade. It was very near market open. But the fact that I was able to hold this trade on the retest of AOI, obviously I was very excited. Who wouldn't be, right? So the AOI was like right here. And the so I put my stop loss right above it. Right? Obviously you can't see the AOI, but look at this. Oh, look at that drop right there. So beautiful. Six contracts. $4,390 on that trade. Simply let alone. So to take a look at this. We had the AOI. Obviously, we broke the AOI the first time. You could have taken shorts the first time. With this type of momentum, as soon as you saw the retest here, not working out, and yes, I'm on a five minute time frame, and you saw this retest of VWAP, and then we break through with a lot of strength, take the short into 50%. Look where we bounce, guys, 50%. So you could have easily taken the bounce at 50% too, if you caught this. But what I want you guys to look at very quick, and like I said, I'm on a five minute time frame, is when we broke through this with momentum, okay? And we're gonna go into the one minute very quick. Look what happens here. We start, when we get below the AOI, I got in around 6.45. I, I checked the time, it was around 6.45. So I had to stick it because we ended up coming in. What do we say? When we usually break the AOI, we go into the first area of that uh, zone, which was this area here. And I had to stick it because it looked like it, almost gonna, it was almost gonna go long. Ended up being a fake out, and we ended up falling more short, all the way into 50% area. So as soon as, we should have been locked in with the shorts, okay? And we came up. So when does this get invalidated? Uh, let's take a look. Mm. Okay, so we retest. We try to retest AOI one more time. I, you could have also taken advantage of this. Obviously, it wouldn't have been a crazy move. You wouldn't have found a lot of ticks. But eventually, when we break above this, at this point, guys, you should have already been... Uh, erase your AOI. Why? Because we went over and then under. Like this is obviously just, it's not gonna work out anymore like it needs to, and then instead find the split. And we find that split, we go to five minute, where's our split? Right here, right? This is our split, look at it. There's an imbalance below, and right here it balances out. We have all the wigs showing us that bars are trying to come in. So now our next stop process should be on the longs, which is exactly what we did, okay? I think we come back a little bit, actually. Um, we break and fill the imbalance first, right? No, we don't, okay? But if we break that imbalance, we could fill it. We did take the long down here at 50% as well. Um, that was our first, we actually caught the bottom on Friday as well. Okay, but we, if we would have broken this, we could have filled the imbalance instead, we bounced at the split, okay? And there was another opportunity for your longs there, uh, bounce at the split, right? So splits, imbalances, very easy concept. Such an easy strategy to use, especially when you start to understand uh, how the market works, you know, with these imbalances and splits. So again, you should be taking these trades, okay? There's no really structure. I think one of the biggest questions is like, what's the structure, Danny, that I should take on this? You know, when, when should I play the short? Should there be some kind of candlestick pattern or some kind of formation? Should there? No, there, there should not. There's never gonna be no type because the market doesn't 
form a candle and say, oh yeah, we're gonna fall because there was uh, uh, this type of uh, formation. You know what I mean? You're never in the world. If you think that the market aligns based off formations or patterns or, or whatever you believe in, right? Uh, trading astrology is what I call it, right? Because some people just believe in that. It's not true, okay? Market moves off volume. It moves off the momentum, okay? It moves off who wants to be in control and who doesn't want to be in control. In, the, in this example here, we have all the momentum to the downside and we have a big gap between the AOI and the zone. Use your common sense. What do you think is most likely going to happen? We're going to probably feel the imbalance here, okay? The imbalance. There's an imbalance. Look, okay? There's an imbalance below, I would say, around this area, okay? And once we break that, we fill all the way to 50%. What do we know about 50%? Bounces. So why are we not playing the longs here? Because you're because it's falling short and you're scared? Come on. You know what I mean? Come on. We should be smarter than that. We go into one minute and we see what's actually going on, right? If we're stalling, okay, we dropped a lot, okay? We broke AOI, we dumped, okay? As soon as we get those retests, the mental to the downside, why are you afraid to risk, let's say you take the short, why are you afraid to risk 40 ticks, right? Or 50 ticks, what's the problem? Are you oversizing? You feel like you're gonna blow your account? Well, then size down, figure something out, right? But we have momentum to the downside. Everything is playing confluence. We should be taking that short. And when we come down and we hit 50%, we see the balance at 50%, right? So what happens at a balance of 50%? We don't see a balance here on the five minute, right? So when we hit that 50%, I see we're taking a long time there. I'm obviously gonna go into that five, uh, into that five minute. Uh, let's go here into that five minute, right? So, um, Let's go into the one minute and let's see what happens, okay? We balance out, where do we form a split? Where do we form a split here? Right here, right? So we formed it before this breakout even happened. So the split is formed here. Imbalance needs to get filled at least into the area right here. And what happens here? We break the split, momentum to the upside. You can take the longs all the way to fill the imbalance, all the way to here. This AOI is gone, okay? This is actually the split right here. Okay, so this gets filled, filled, filled all the way to this area, right? So boom, 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 gets filled, and you could have taken a very nice trade. Even if you would have taken this late, you at least would have caught 50 ticks, which is our usual base hit. Easy money, guys. So again, this is the concept behind an AOI. This is the concept behind a split. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and understand. If you have questions, don't be afraid to ask them in the chat, and we're going to keep running these lessons, okay, because they're very important for you guys to understand what kind of training strategy we use, what kind of tra kind of traders we are, okay? So make sure you guys enjoy the video, make sure you study it up, make sure you take notes, and you begin to trade like a monster scalper. Let's get it.